Hello friends, this is teacher JB. Uh, we are studying 41 basic English grammar rules. And today we are going to study conditionals and demonstratives. Conditionals and demonstratives. There are four conditionals. And they are called zero, first, second, and third. Zero conditional is used to talk about the general truths or things that are always true. So present simple and present simple. If you heat ice, it melts. So this is present simple, present simple, and then this is general true. If you heat ice, it melts. If it rains, everything gets wet. If it rains, everything gets wet. Your heart beats faster if you're worried. So this is present, and this is present, 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 and this talk about general truth, general facts. This is called zero conditional. And first conditional is, is to talk about real, well, possible situation. So present simple, if, present simple plus will. If I win the game, so I'm not sure, but in case I win the game, I will get some prizes. It's a possible. She will get bad score if she doesn't study hard. So maybe, but in case she doesn't study hard, she will get bad score. If the weather is nice tomorrow, okay, we don't know, but in case it is, we'll go camping. So if and present simple plus will verb. And second conditional is used to talk about unreal or impossible situation at present. So simple past, would, plus verb. If I met him yesterday, so this is simple past, but it says I didn't meet him. I didn't meet him, but if I did, I would tell him the truth. I would pass the exam if I studied, so I didn't study hard. I did not study hard, so maybe. If Sally drove more carefully, she wouldn't have any accident. So this is not, this is negation of present uh, condition or situation. And third conditional is used to talk about unreal or impossible situation in the past. So past perfect plus would have. If Jane had known the truth, she would have been very shocked. I would have won the competition if I had tried harder. So it means I didn't try hard. If I had finished the homework earlier, I would have gone to the movies, but I didn't go to the movies because I didn't finish the uh, homework earlier. So just remember the conditionals, uh, there are four conditionals, zero, first, second, third. So this is general truth and this is possibility and this is no present with would and then no past with would have next one demonstratives this that this those this, that, these, those are pronouns. Use this singular, this plural, to talk about something near us. This is my favorite t-shirt near me. These are my favorite t-shirts. This is a cat. These are my cats. We, we use that singular, those, plural, 
to talk about something far from us. That is my phone. Those are my phones. That is my brother. Those are my brothers. So before we go to the next page, practice pronunciation. This. This. T H E S E. These. These. And that. That. And those. Those. This. These. That. Those. Now, this one, these are determiners. A determiner is a word such as the, some, at, my, this, that, this, etc. that comes before or now. We use this and that. It's singular and uncountable. Please give this pencil to me. This, must, uh, this music makes me happy. I'll buy that book. That beef is so raw. We use this and those with plural nouns. These performances are amazing. Have a look at these two uh, sentences. I love those beautiful memories. Don't touch those plants. They are dangerous. Okay. So this and this, we call this near. Singular, plural. That and those. Far, singular, plural. Okay, friends, this is the conclusion of today's study. I'll come back to you with another uh, topics uh, as soon as possible. Until then, keep studying English and have a great day. Bye.